Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have one of the latest and greatest, uh, sure to be a winner from FMS. This is their all new 1400 millimeter Kingfisher, guys. There have been a bunch of these, uh, you know, uh, bush style flying airplanes that have been out with large tires and FMS has uh, decided to get into the mix with it. Usually when they do, guys, they end up making a, a plane that's probably even better than most of the airplanes out there. And this one comes with three sets of gear, guys, here. This is a go anywhere, do anything kind of airplane that's great for anybody to fly. And this one includes the skis, the floats, and the large size Tundra tire. So this is a plane that no matter where you live, you can fly this thing anywhere. And they've gone from, you know, we used to glue airplanes together in the past. Now we've gotten to the point with FMS where most everything's just a, a screw together airplane. Now they're going with, with this, which I call a glueless airplane. Now we're going with almost a screwless airplane. There are a few screws to put on this, but the majority of the large pieces on this thing actually snap together and I'm going to show you that. So let's take a look at some of the specs and then we'll get inside the box. As we look at the outside of the box, not only does the airplane have skis, floats, and oversized wheels, I almost forgot to mention guys, this airplane is FPV and towing capable. And I'll show you that as we get into the box. Now specifications, again, 1400 millimeters, so it's a really nice size, 36 inches long. You can see it's got a brushless 35, 36 kV, uh, uh, 850 kV motor, 40 amp speed controllers, uh, nine gram servos, and um, see what the CG is. I'll get into that as I look at the airplane. I'll let you guys know as we do a flight demo if that's working out okay. Uh, and of course, a three cell 2200 milliamp 35 CPAC, which we all have those. So it's uh, designed really to go with uh, what's out there. And then as I flip this thing around, if I can uh, kind of finagle the box here, you can see the skis, the floats, and then also the FPV uh, mount, which it comes with. So it's designed to hold a camera. So very, very versatile airplane, guys. And as we look here, you can see what's in the inside of the box. Floats right up front. You can see your wire landing gear. And uh, you can see your skis right there. And everything's nicely packed the way FMS usually has it. So anyway, let me get all the parts out of the box, guys. We'll lay them out and we'll take a look at everything. Here's the layout of all the parts, guys, that came out of the box. And uh, you can see uh, it's a real versatile airplane. Um, real quick, starting off with the landing here, guys, you can see your floats. Your main landing gear with the big Tundra tires, really nice foam on those. Your main landing gear here, uh, and then also your skis right here. So you got your three sets of landing gear included with this, so you can fly this off the water, the land, the snow, the ice, whatever you have. Now, the main fuselage is right down here, guys. That's the main component here with the motor installed, speed controller, elevator and rudder servos, hatches on it, and it's really ready for your wings and your elevator to just plug in and snap in position. You don't even need any screws for them. Your main wings, guys, uh, with the servos installed, wiring done, spars installed, um, on your horizontal stabilizer and elevator, guys, uh, with your spar in it, ready to go. Main wing spar right here, main uh, wing struts here, although I think those are mostly cosmetic, but I think they do provide some support. And a parts bag here with tail wheel and, uh, and all sorts of other connections and screws and so forth. And then right up here, guys, is your FPV mount that pops in place of the, uh, the, the cockpit, which I'll show you guys in case you want to do FPV. Uh, and then right here, guys, your prop, your 11.7 prop and spinner, and of course your instruction manual. So a very complete kit. All it needs is a receiver and a LiPo battery to put in there and go. So with that, guys, let's take a look at the individual parts in more detail. The first component to show you guys is the main fuselage. Really nice fit and finish all the way around, guys. Some of these are stickers and some are paint. I think this is actually one big sticker that they put on here. The finish is fantastic on this, guys. In some instances, it's almost hard to tell that it is foam. Uh, up front here, guys, we've got your, uh, your motor installed uh, and you've got your, uh, your two screws here that mount so you can get your uh, cowling off if you need to get in there to the motor. Uh, and as we can see along there, you can see all the, uh, the specs on the motor there. That's your 35, 36, 850 kV Predator motor, guys. Uh, very highly ventilated. As you can see, the air can come in here to your speed controller, come in through your motor, run all the way through the fuselage, through your speed controller and everything, your electronics, and then out the tail here, guys. So they really thought a lot about cooling with this. The Kingfisher logo looks really nice. Uh, canopy or cockpit window decals. And then along the bottom, really nice plastic parts, folks. You can see how nice those are. Uh, these are for your wing struts that connect from here uh, up to your wings, but your plastic fittings for your gear, guys, you can see up close here, really nice, guys, brass, you know, of course, all metal uh, machine screws to, to put your landing gear in place. So 
Nice fittings that match up real nice, FMS decal on the back, and then we come along the side here. Elevator servo is mounted, guys, and this is where your uh, entire horizontal stabilizer and elevator run right through this channel and snap into place, which I'll show you uh, shortly here in the video. Uh, no screws to put that thing on. Uh, rudder, uh, you can see here, laminated, guys. It has a rubbery laminate on here, like FMS laminates all their uh, foam hinges, so they're nice and durable. And then this little sort of hinge doubler here, which is where your water rudder, if you use this on floats, water rudder will go right through there, through the elevator, up to here, and then it actually runs through here. There's sort of a doubler that goes on that you use one screw to attach that water rudder, and there it is right there. It just has a hook on the end, and that's what keeps it in place. So you have this water rudder for a float operation. It'll be hanging down here, and it'll be just, uh, you can see that on the front of the box, but uh, uh, that lets you, you can install it and take it off uh, whenever you need to. Also on this side, your rudder servo as well. Uh, you can see that laminated hinge running across there, guys. Really nice quality overall around. I like the plastic doubler down here. They designed that specifically for your water rudder so it doesn't tear into your foam. Now running along this side, you can see on top actually, I'll go up here. Um, this is where your, uh, your attachment is if you want to um, uh, tow a glider with it. So you could tow a banner, tow a glider, and that's the port for it. On the sides here, beautiful plastic parts here where your wing inserts. The end of your wing literally just plugs in here. Spar goes through right there and um, it snaps in place. In fact, this is the catch for it. So you literally attach your wings with a snap and you push a button on the bottom of the wing, which actually you can see right there, and then the wing just actually pops off. So real easy to take your wings on and off with just a uh, snap and a pop there. Uh, your canopy comes off just this simple, guys. You can see how nicely that latch uh, snaps and unsnaps, and then everything's ready to go, guys. Your battery compartment floor is right there with your uh, really nice uh, FMS Velcro strap to put it in place. Uh, and your wiring, guys. Your wiring here is all ready to go if I can get it all out there. You can see your wires for your uh, throttle, your elevator, and your rudder all ready to go. Your ailerons will come in through there as well, and they all plug in, and you have a deck right here where you can put your receiver. So uh, speed controller has an EC3. Uh, that's ready to go, and uh, just a real nice package all the way around, guys. Now uh, I'm going to reach down here real quick, and I'm going to grab the camera mount, guys. You can see how nice this thing is. This is meant just to replace the canopy. So if you want to do FPV, you've got a specifically designed FPV mount to put a camera on. So it's pretty slick the way they design it. So it keeps it cool. You can access the camera easily. And then, of course, you can remove it and then just go back to, you know, just regular flying, guys. Put your canopy back on. You can see how nicely that snaps in place. So anyway, guys, I'm digging the Kingfisher. Can't wait to get this out there. Um, just a really nice fuselage, really nice quality all the way around. The next main component to show you guys is the uh, main wing panel. You can see what a nice finish this thing is overall, and I believe that these are actually painted. Yeah, it feels like paint right here. I think that the light blue one down here actually is a sticker, but the rest of this is painted on with the exception of the Kingfisher sticker, but real nice fit and finish, guys, and because this is going to be kind of a yank and bank airplane, you can see they've run two spars down the underside of this thing. You can see them running through there. And this is a really, really rigid wing. So really, really tough. So you're going to be able to pull hard, yank and bank on this airplane without fear of uh, any damage to it. Uh, also, guys, uh, here's your wing strut uh, that we talked about a little earlier that plugs into the fuselage. Those go in and cotter pins go in place. Cotter pin there, cotter pin there, and then a cotter pin there as well that connects to the uh, fuselage. So screwless wing mount guys just three cotter pins per wing and just a snap catch right here and that's where the main wing mounts on you can see your little snap catch you basically just put your uh your main spar carbon spar through the through the fuselage stick it into the wing and you literally just push your wing right on as you can see and when it when it when it seats all the way down this little thing snaps and to get the thing on and that locks it in place to get it off you push the button and you take your wing off so guys we have a totally screwless, um, glueless and screwless wing mount for this airplane, which is pretty sweet. So it helps you get it on and off. Real nice plastic fittings right here, guys, that allow this to be inserted into that nice plastic pocket there for a real positive attachment. So you can see here your flaps, laminated, guys. You can see that laminate running down there. You can see your laminated hinge along your aileron. They went back to their old style of clevises, which were always really tough, guys. So you have a real nice snap clevis on there. 
uh, to keep everything nice and secure, your ailerons and your flaps. And overall, guys, uh, just really like the wing. This is going to be a fun airplane for everybody to fly. Really nice wing panel on this thing. The last main flight control surface to show you guys here is the uh, horizontal stabilizer and elevator. They've done a real nice job. Again, you can see that laminated hinge shining back on you, and that means that all the hinges on this plane have a real nice rubbery laminate, so it's not just a foam hinge. It's nice and tough. FMS has been using these for, for years, and they're super, super strong. Fiberglass spar running right through the center here, so this tail, because it's going to be a yank and bank plane, it's pretty tough, guys, to, uh, it's going to be real hard to break this thing. You can see here your pass-through right here for your water rudder. That water rudder, when you attach it to your fuselage, is going to go through here, it's going to go through this, the elevator, and then it's going to go up in here. It's going to lock into place, you can see right here, guys, with a, uh, with a single screw, I believe, that keeps that in place. Now, here's the nicest feature, guys. Look, no glue no screws guys it literally has a couple of guides here it has a u-channel guide here for the fuselage and then it has a snap catch a lot like we like we just saw on the canopy and you see how this thing goes on check this thing out uh, you probably want to hold your rudder off to the side to get that thing in there but once you get this thing in there you can see how nicely it slides you want to kind of push down on it and you can see how those little two pins go straight on in there they lock into place and then you just literally lock this thing into position. So that's it, guys. That's how you mount your horizontal stabilizer and elevator. And it's on there real strong, guys. There's not like a, there's not really much wiggle room. It really is a positive lock. And then you just put your linkage on right here. So now if you need to transport it for some reason, you got an ultra small car, you just need a little extra space, you can just pop that linkage off, snap this baby right back up, and then just kind of pull this off, move your rudder to the side a bit, and look at that your horizontal stabilizer and elevator come right off. So really nice, guys. We now have um, uh, glueless and screwless wings and tails on, on airplanes now. FMS is really, really doing the job when it comes to making planes easy to put together. So top-notch, guys, elevator on this thing. Hats off to FMS for making assembly really simple. Here's a quick look at the 5-inch uh, huge Tundra tires, guys, that... Uh, that uh, probably most of us are going to be using when we're flying this plane. Real nice aluminum landing here, guys. Real tough stuff. These wheels are actually made out of a super, super dense foam. They're almost like a rubbery foam, but really slick finish. It's not an EPO, I don't think, but really nice big wheels. Probably some of the nicest quality ones I've seen around. And this will let you take off on big grass, gravel, sand. Heck, you might even be able to land on the water with these things. They're so big and they're uh, just real foamy. So. Real nice main landing gear, folks. The other two landing gear systems that uh, come with this airplane are the floats, guys. This is a proven design. I believe that these are the same. Uh, they come on the super easy, guys. They may have added this lip here, this like splash guard lip, but I'm not sure. But really nice floats overall, folks. And uh, you can see here that your metal struts, uh, and I believe, again, this is probably just like the, uh, very similar to the, um, uh, to the super easy, but uh, you have two struts that plug in. One's here, one I left down there on the ground, and the two of these, this little un this little U-channel here, guys, that plugs right into the underside of the fuselage. So whether you want the main gear on there with the wheels, you want the struts, it's just a few screws to exchange back and forth. And then these struts are also used for the skis, guys, and these are cool. This is probably, unfortunately, for me, probably not something I'm going to use, but these go in one way or the other. I'm really not sure exactly how they go in, but they have a, a spring-loaded design. And you've got skis, guys, so if you're uh, you know, living in a snowy area, you got skis for this airplane. These are really nicely designed, guys. These are really nicely engineered. You can see they have a little keel down the middle, and they're just very nicely, again, engineered with a, uh, with a spring-loaded design. In fact, as I look at this, there's probably a part in that plastic bag that uh, connects to join these together, so we'll look in there and see if that's there. But really nice skis, guys, and really nice floats overall. I don't think I'm going to be using skis, but I think I'm going to be using the floats for sure out at the lake. Hopefully, we'll get this out to Joe and all, and everybody can see it there. Uh, anyway, guys, really nice design overall. The last few parts to show you guys are, is the, uh, the rudder here. Again, this is just a simple water rudder. Most times, planes like this, you got so much prop wash over the actual rudder of the airplane. You don't really need a water rudder, but they did include one here that you can uh, attach on real easy, like I said, with one screw right there through the back. And a doubler, which there is a doubler here for, guys, and that also doubles 
as your uh, rudder horn, guys. So that's what turns your rudder. So that's going to get mounted on there. You've got your tail wheel here that also goes in that same slot. And that's for just flying with your conventional landing gear. So there's your main wheel there, your tail wheel here. Uh, you've got a flap Y harness here. And you've got a landing gear doubler right here that uh, kind of covers up that empty slot there when you put one of your sets of gear on. And I think that's probably when you're running floats. And then, of course, screws and your really nice steel cotter pins right there, guys, and all your screws to put the rest of the airplane, mostly the landing gear, <coughs> together. So really nice package, guys. Really nice parts all the way around. Let's not forget the prop and spinner, guys. Really nice propeller and three-piece spinner all the way around. You can see your threads there. You can see your hex drive for the positive lock right on that hex drive on your prop drive. And then uh, your prop, real nice FMS 11.7 prop. I think this is the same prop and spinner package, although they might have changed the prop a little bit, um, that was on the F3A Explorer. So and that's always been a real nice proven spinner and everything. And I think it was on one other airplane that I can't remember, but overall nice prop and spinner, guys. Last but not least, guys, it is the instruction manual here, guys, for the Kingfisher. Real simple, guys, all the way around. You can see all the parts that uh, we just went through, guys. Real simple. It's a good thing to check them off, taking a look at that. But this goes into the basic construction, which takes really no time at all, guys. You can see your main landing gear with your doubler that fits over there, and that cleans up the aerodynamics. You can see the wings how those plug in real nicely and there's that little snap bullet that pops out of the wing. That's how you lock your wings into place and that's how you release them to get them off. So you see your cotter pins there that assemble your uh, wings and uh, struts, your elevator that pops right on with that latch mechanism that we just looked at. And then you can see how your tail wheel goes through or actually your water rudder goes through that slot depending on which configuration of the airplane you're using. And I think it's just, actually it's two screws. I thought it was one, but there's two screws for that doubler for the rudder that get that thing uh, on and off. And then uh, you can see you got to put your rudder and your elevator linkages on. Uh, you do have to screw your floats together because there's some parts there, guys, with all those struts. Your floats simply pop into the existing landing gear slots right there with the doublers and a few screws. Uh, and again, there's another shot they show of the water rudder going in the tailwheel slot. Um, you can see here, uh, oh, actually, here's what you do. To get your skis on, guys, you're actually going to use the uh, main landing gear right here. You're going to pop the wheels off. That makes sense. And then you're going to uh, put your skis on, and they're spring-loaded. So really nice, guys. Your FPV camera mount. They show you how to run your camera and your antenna in there. But, of course, you can do that however you like. And then you can see your tow uh, uh, adapter there. You can see where it says... Uh, Put your towing cable through the main wing tube. So basically you wrap that around the main wing spar. You can tow a banner, glider, or just whatever you need to tow with it. Uh, prop and spinner, guys, showing your battery and your latch in there. And as we get here to the next page, let's see what else there is. They talk about the controls and throws and stuff. They go into all of that. I don't know if they go into actual specs on those. But here's your CG, 60 to 65 millimeters aft to the leading edge. Um, and uh, we'll try that out as we fly. That looks like a good number there, though. So usually, usually about 25% works pretty good back from the leading edge of the cord line. And uh, then you got your, uh, let's see, your ESC programming guide, as they always have with all these FMS planes. They got your ESC programming guide, so you can change parameters or reset the controller uh, if you need to. So really nice package overall, guys. I can't wait to get this out there. I'm going to see if I can get this out to uh, Null at the fall, Null in the fall, guys, and see if we can. Uh, give you guys some demos of this. I know Mike and Billy will be out there with theirs as well. So we'll be demoing this if you're coming to Null in the fall, guys. So anyway, guys, the FMS uh, Kingfisher 1400 millimeter, full featured airplane, really easy to assemble, quality's top, top notch, just really into this airplane. So anyway, guys, uh, check this out at fmsmodel.com, also at Horizon Hobby. Appreciate you guys watching RC Informer. Stay tuned for the flight demos, and guys, we will see you next time.